Hey guys, do it on a dime here. So I asked on Instagram for you guys to share your paper clutter. And I did this because I wanna share with everybody that this is a real struggle. These are what real houses look like. It is hard to keep your papers organized for everybody. I would never ask you guys to share something that I wouldn't first share myself. This video is several years old, but this is what my files used to look like. The problem is we create these folders, we stick stuff in, the files get huge, they become overwhelming, we can't cleanse the system, we can't keep up with it, and so papers start sitting out, piles build up, and before you know it, you feel out of control. So these are what my files look like today, and I did nothing to them to make them look beautiful for the camera. This is what they look like every single day, and they have for three years. So I wanna share this system with you guys because I really feel like anybody can achieve this whether you're a small business owner or you work for a company or you're trying to organize a lot of things anybody can do this it just requires a change of perspective the first thing you need is an active papers organizer on your desk I love this tiered look because you can see everything and I got these folders from the Dollar Tree I just recently updated them so they'd be pretty but they have a little tax folder my husband uses that one a lot a two file because I'm lazy I get papers and I just want to stick them somewhere and not think about it. Coupons, because the same thing, I get them in the mail, I just want to stick them in and not think. And then a reference section. These are things that we're kind of using at the moment, but I don't want it taking up space on my desk. And an action section. Things that I need to do, take care of, a phone call I need to make. And that's all I do. I stick things in. It's limited space, so I can't go crazy with it. What I use in my actual filing cabinet is the Freedom Filer, and it comes with a complete instruction manual and a color-coded system for the inside, and this is totally key because it breaks down how you should be organizing your files. Shift up the way your mind thinks and start putting things in just four sections. Remember guys, simplicity is key. So at the end of the week, I'm gonna take items out of my two file section and put them into one of four categories. The first being taxes for this year. In this case, it was the even year, but no matter what your situation, you can customize the freedom filer to fit it. If you have educator expenses or business income, the second category is your vital records. It's rare something would go in here. This is like diplomas, birth certificates, your health records, things that are not going to change or be replaced. They're things that you need to access probably in like emergency situations. The third category is the remove and replace. These are things when you get, you put into the system and you take out the old one. Your life insurance, mortgage, employment packages, things like that. You guys, 95% of your files are going to go and be organized by month. Receipts you get in January, put in January, in February, in February, March, etc. The reason behind this is you're creating a self-cleansing system. This is what requires that mental shift. You just have to think back to the month that you did something for petty receipts, paid bills, any type of statement that you don't go paperless. Then at the end of the year, you're gonna take out all those tax documents and every single one of those monthly folders and you're going to put in a new year. This is the odd year. You'll see in like the upper left hand corner, it's labeled even and odd. And now there's one from two years ago in there, all those receipts, you're gonna take them out and shred them and start your new year over again. Do you see how this is cleansing itself out? And now the one from the year that I just did is gonna go in a different drawer down below and in two years time, that one's gonna come back I'm gonna be able to start taking that stuff out and cleansing it because you guys there's no reason to keep things for more than two years in that petty receipt category. I hope this video was helpful in showing you guys how to create a simple filing system that works for almost any situation. I am not sponsored by the Freedom Filer but I do really love the system. I'm gonna put a link on my blog in the description if you're interested in getting a system like this and changing over your files and really starting to think in that monthly category. I promise you it's gonna help so much. It helped me so much. So I wanna start a new hashtag on social media. My files are awesome. If you try the Freedom Filer or update your system, please send me a picture. I would love to see, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.